introduction. Happy birthday, dear Rick. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. We were four friends at birthday party. Rick had cut the cake in four equal pieces, and each of us got one piece. Do you know this reminds me of fractions? Want to know more? Join me to wade through the world of fractions. Objectives. At the end of this lesson, you would be able to understand fractions, make part of a whole to show fractions, understand and write equivalent fractions. You just saw we had four pieces of a cake. I ate one out of four. If I eat one piece of cake, how can we count it? Yes, we will use fractions for such type of counting. A fraction is a part of whole. My eating of cake can be counted as one by four peas. Wow, pizza! I like pizza very much. I like it too. Can you share this pizza with me? Yeah, sure. Let's divide the pizza into two equal pieces. This can be written as one by two. We also want to eat pizza. Okay, let's divide the pizza into four pieces. Each part of pizza is written as one by four. Let us now study about equivalent fractions. Look at the rectangular boxes given below. In the first figure, Two by four boxes are blue, while in the second figure, four by eight boxes are blue. Observe carefully. The blue colored parts of both the boxes are same. This means two by four must be same as four by eight. So, two by four and four by eight are equivalent fractions. Complete the following with equivalent fraction. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. Fractions are part of the whole. Equivalent fractions have same value even though they appear different.